We are on the final lesson for this summer wildflowers arrangement. We are making the calyx and assembling these Shasta daisies today. Stay tuned. Hello, my beautiful friends. My name is Fen Lee, designer here at the Beat Flora Studio, bead instructor, and author to the book Bead Flora, the revival of French bead of flowers. If this is our first time meeting, welcome to the French beading community. Consider subscribing and check out the playlists to get started. In today's lesson, we'll be making the calyx and then assembling the Shasta daisy. some green beads strung onto a spool of 24 gauge green wire. Let's undo this here. So we're going to leave a three inch tail and the pattern calls for 10 10 bead continuous wraparound loops. We're making a double loop. going until I have all 10. So now I have all 10 of these done. Let's cut another tail off of the spool. Let's twist the two ending tail wires slightly in the, at the base. And again, we're going to reposition one of the tail wires so that there's one tail wire on each side of the unit here. Now, before I assemble the Shasta daisy, I want to show you the daisy that I made for the arrangement. Uh, some daisies I had just one leaf and some I didn't have any leaves at all. What you can also do is to make some individual leaves and have them on stems just like I did for the echinacea. And these I will be sticking into the arrangement. I didn't make any individual leaves for the daisies uh, but I have three for the echinacea. Now we have all of our components and ready to assemble. Now take the center and insert that into the hole of the petals. So now take your pliers and twist just slightly at the base here, just so that everything is nice and secure. Don't go all the way down, just a little bit. Next, take your length of stem and wire and insert that into the hole um, right in the middle here. And what I'm going to do is just to wrap this in with floral tape. Now we're going to insert the whole stem into the calyx. Out the bottom of wires here. Now wrap the these bottom wires in with floral tape. I'm going to add my leaves on now, um, just wherever I want it. 
So first I'm going to add in the, my leaves A. I'm going to add in the second leaf here. this here because you see this here is kind of kinky if I wrap this in with floral tape it's going to be lumpy and I'm going to put in my last leaf before I over here and if you want it to be a little bit more stable you can just wrap it over the um, petal part here too. That's not a big deal. Especially um, if you didn't use 22 gauge wire, um, you could do that. So it wouldn't be as stable. Now I'm going to floss my stem with embroidery floss and you definitely don't want to miss this step for your flowers because it's something that will help um, your flowers stand the test of time. Um, if you don't wrap your uh, flowers with embroidery floss, um, then you might need to fix it a year later down the road. Okay. So I'm just going to wrap the floss around and then continue wrapping. And another thing with the floss is it helps um, just kind of keep your leaves together too. It just makes them a lot more stable um, after you attach them on with the floor tape. There are a lot of ways that you can do this. You can attach the leaves on um, before you wrap the floss on or you can floss and then attach the leaves on as you're flossing and I've done it different ways. It all just depends on how I'm feeling, um, if I want to floss as I'm, if I want to add the leaves as I'm flossing or if I don't. <laughs> you know how that goes. Now once you get down to the first leaf, um, I, I normally like to like bend the leaf down and wrap the floss around and then bend the leaf back up and then wrap the floss over the leaf here. And this part, by wrapping the floss over like the stem of the leaf, it just keeps this leaf um, a lot more stable on to your stem. So now I'm going to keep flossing until I go um, all the way down. So here I have my stem um, mostly flossed. I am flossing um, the stem down about nine inches here. And I am leaving the rest bare um, of floss because I may cut it later um, to length for the arrangement. So cut my floss here with my pliers. I mean cutters, preferably use scissors, but I don't have them here. All right, so that. And then wrap the rest. So wrap the knot in with floral tape. I'm just going to go all the way down. Later when you cut this here and uh, you want to cut it down to here, um, then wrap, the, the, wrap it again with floral tape just so that everything is um, staying together. And now let's shape the petals.
Yay, we are done with all of the lessons for the flowers. In the next video, I will show you how I put together this arrangement. If you make any of my flowers, I always love seeing them. Tag me on Instagram or Facebook, and I may feature it in a future video. Also, join me in the Learn How to Make French Beater Flowers Facebook group to join the community of French beaters to show off your flowers. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!